What's up guys, today I've got a Sun and Moon OE match versus my buddy MV. I'm gonna be leaving his channel link down below as he does upload some great competitive Pokemon content and his perspective of this match is gonna be in the description as well. I definitely encourage you guys to check that out and I'm using a team which was given to me by Super Pascal from Pokemon Showdown so big shout outs to him for passing me this amazing team of his. I do believe he got top 10 on both pre-bank and post-bank ladder with this team. And uh, we played this match before Pokebank was out, so let's get into this. I'm gonna be looting off with my Necrozma as he's gonna lead off with this type of Fenny. Turn 1, he's gonna go for the Calm Mind as uh, I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock and this Necrozma is modest max special attack. So I'm gonna do a lot of damage because I'm gonna get a crit. And it's funny because we actually did a match before this one and I also got quite lucky in that match as well. So he's gonna go for the Moonblast, does a ton and gets a special attack drop as I'm just gonna go for my Stealth Rocks and next turn he's gonna go for the Defog and get rid of the uh, Stealth Rocks which I just got up and I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock once again and I'm weakening this type of Finny which is amazing for my Guard Chomp and my Feromosa so I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock once again as uh, now he's gonna go for the Surf and it is gonna do quite a lot and bring my Necrozma to red health. I'm gonna go for my Stealth Rocks once again and I'm gonna stay in with my Necrozma next turn because I expected him to go for the Surf predicting me to go into my Metagross because his Defog is really obvious and I thought he might not wanna give my Metagross a free switch in so that's why I'm gonna stay in and attack because I thought he would just go for Surf and kill me but he goes for the Defog which is gonna get rid of my Stealth Rocks and next turn he's gonna just knock out my Necrozma. So unfortunately my Necrozma is gonna go down and at the end it wasn't able to get up the Stealth Rocks but it did weaken this Tapu Fini for my Faramosa and Garchomp which is fantastic as now I can just bring in my Metagross and Mega Evolve and go right for the Meteor Mash as something on his team is gonna take a hefty amount from this and he's gonna choose to go into his Magna Zone. Now his switch into Celesteela is really obvious and uh, MV knows that I play very aggressively and in the match which we had before this one I also play very aggressively so honestly I just expected him to stay in with his Magna Zone expecting me to over predict but he just makes the safe play and goes into Celesteela as I do not want to take a flamethrower so that's why I'm gonna go into my Tapu Fini as he's gonna go for the lead seed and uh, because this is an offensive Tapu Fini and this Celesteela is most likely offensive due to the nature of his team so that's why I'm gonna go right for the surf as he's gonna switch out and go into his own Tapu Fini and him switching out pretty much leads me to believe that he is an offensive Celesteela otherwise why would you switch out because especially defensive Celesteela can easily take hits from Tapu Fini for days and get all of the health back with Lead Seed. So now I do not want to let him weaken my Tapu Fini. So I'm going to switch out and go into my Metagross. As uh, he's actually going to make a double switch and go into his Celesteela. And this turn I definitely know he's going to go for the Lead Seed. And that's why I'm going to go for the Meteor Mash. But unfortunately I'm going to miss. And this really sucks as this is going to matter later on. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna switch out because I do not want to take a flamethrower or a fire blast as uh, he's gonna go for the fire blast and this is gonna do quite a bit. So he is definitely offensive Celesteela with a Totemize and uh, here I'm gonna make a double switch into my Tapu Lele predicting him to go into his Tapu Fini but he's actually gonna go into his Magna Zone. Had I gone for the surf with my Tapu Fini I would have 2 KO'd this Magna Zone because uh, he's not Assault Fist and uh, this is a bad matchup for my Tapu Lele so I'm gonna switch out and go into my Metagross because I know he's definitely not going for the Thunderbolt because I do have a Garchomp in the back and he does go for the Flash Cannon. I can easily take these with Metagross and uh, I'm gonna go for the Zen Headbutt expecting him to go into Celesteela but this time he just stays in with his Magna Zone as uh, I can finish him off with another Zen Headbutt in the Psychic Terrain. So his Magna Zone is gonna go down and now he's gonna bring in his Alolan Duck Trio. I'm definitely slower than this thing because I'm running Adam in nature and I do not have max speed. So I'm gonna switch out and go into my Feromosa as uh, he's gonna go for the EQ. And the reason why I went into this thing over Tapu Fini is because I do not want my Tapu Fini getting weakened. And I can also bluff the Choice Scarf on this Feromosa because he's not gonna be seeing the life of recall damage. And the damage I do to his Pokemon is not Choice Banded. So I'm gonna go right for the High Jump Kick in case he wanted to stay in. Predicting me to go for U-Turn or something. As he's just gonna go into his Tapu Fini. I cannot knock him out with another high jump kick and I do not want to go for the poison jab because I still want to bluff 
that my Feromosa is Choice Scarf. So that's why I'm going to go into my Tapu Lele. And now something on his team is going to get to a KO because he has nothing which can switch into this Tapu Lele because his Celesteela is offensive. So he's going to choose to go into his Gigalith. And Gigalith in this gen does get Sand Stream. So it's going to get the special defense boost in the Sand. But still, it won't be able to take two Psychic from my Tapu Lele. And it's just going to go down. So it just shows how strong Tapu Lele is. And uh, his Gigalith is going to go down. And now he can just bring in his uh, Stoutland with the ability Sand Rush. So I'm going to switch out and sack my Garchomp. Because Garchomp isn't really doing much when he has a Celesteela on his team. So he's going to go for the return and looking at the damage he did to me, he is definitely Choice Bandit Stoutland. So he's going to take me out with another return as I'm going to get a free switch into my Mega Metagross. And my Metagross can easily take a Choice Bandit return because I do have some HP EVs. So I'm going to go into my Metagross as he's going to go for the return. And I'm going to live with 6 HP and go for the Meteor Mash to take out the Stoutland which is great. And now he's going to go into Celesteela. And because the Celesteela is offensive, it is going to take quite a lot from this Meteor Mash. As he's going to go for an Autotomize. Now, had I not missed my Meteor Mash earlier on, I would have gone for another Meteor Mash here. Instead of going for the Bullet Punch. Because as you guys are going to see, he's going to go for another Autotomize. Because in his mind, he thinks that my Feromosa is Choice Scarf. So this Autotomize ensures that he outspeeds my entire team. And uh, I'm going to go for another Bullet Punch as uh, he's unfortunately going to miss. Now even though if I went for the Meteor Mash expecting him to go for the second Autotomize, uh, it still wouldn't have mattered because Bullet Punch wouldn't have taken him out. So he's going to take me out with an Air Slash as he's going to get the Beast Boost. As I'm going to go into my Tapu Lele hoping that he misses another Air Slash so that my Tapu Fini does not get weakened. And missing a 95% accurate move is literally the worst thing ever. And he's not going to miss and he's going to take out my Tapu Lele as uh, I can still go into my Tapu Fini and uh, I will be able to take a plus to modest Air Slash from the Celesteela. So he's going to go for the Air Slash and luckily does not flinch me. So I'm able to go for the Surf and uh, I will be able to take out the Celesteela. So I have two Pokemon left on my team as he also has two Pokemon left on his team. It is pretty much even at this point. So he's going to go into Stone Tapu Fini as I'm going to go for the Moon Blast. And this Tapu Fini is going to live barely with 1 HP and it is going to knock out my Tapu Fini with Moonblast. Which is fine because I still have Feromosa and Feromosa wins at this point because I do outspeed his Alolan Duck Trio which has base 110 speed. So I'm going to go into my Feromosa, go right for the High Jump Kick as uh, it is going to take out this Tapu Fini. His last Pokemon is this uh, Alolan Duck Trio which I will be able to kill quite easily because I do outspeed this thing. So I'm going to go for High Jump Kick. <laughs> So he was a Choice Scarf Alolan Duck Trio this whole time and I thought I won the game until like the last turn he had sped me. Honestly this whole match I thought he was some kind of Z Crystal Duck Trio with Ground DMZ or maybe Rock DMZ because those two moves can hit ridiculously hard with its ability Sand Force. But uh, he was a Choice Scarf Alolan Duck Trio and uh, on the other side MV was actually thinking he lost because he thought my Feromosa was Choice Scarf. But uh, I was actually fighting TMZ Feromosa, so this was a really close and amazing game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle as much as we both did. And uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like and make sure to check out MV's channel. It is going to be in the description down below. Once again, I want to give a big shout out to Super Pascal for giving me this team. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.